Have you heard the word fibrocystic breasts and wanted to know what it meant? Fibrocystic is a term that can be used a couple of different ways, so it can be very confusing. The most common terminology and the way it's used is when a someone is examining your breast or feeling your breasts for your yearly exam and someone says, you have fibrocystic breasts. What they mean is you have lumpy bumpy breasts. So when they're feeling your breasts, they're feeling tissue that feels a little thicker in one area, maybe some nodularity, some hardness and firmness. Those are things that the doctor may say, oh, you have fibrocystic breasts. The important thing to remember though is when we feel your breast in a physical exam, we can't really tell what the tissue on the inside is, what it looks like, what it looks like either on imaging or under um, a microscope with a pathologist. So when we say your breasts are lumpy and bumpy, you may actually have perfectly normal tissue. You have, may, may have normal glandular tissue that feels lumpy and bumpy. You may actually have completely fatty tissue that feels lumpy and bumpy. So if someone is feeling your breast, examining your breast and saying you are fibrocystic, again, it's something to know. The more important important thing is for you to know how your breasts feel from month to month. Know what's normal for you, what's a baseline. Because again, in our monthly exams and in your doctor's yearly exams, we're looking for areas that change. If you do have one of those areas that changes, again, look at it in a different time in the breast cycle next month and see if it persists. If it's still there, again, might be one of those things you want to bring it up um, to your doctor's attention. The other way we use the term fibrocystic is if a patient has multiple breast cysts, then they might say you have fibrocystic disease. Now, how would you know you have cysts? You may not, and again, it may be one of those things your doctor can feel on the physical exam. You'll have little discrete areas, little lumps that you can actually place between your fingers. They often move. They may actually be tender. So again, if you're actually feeling little discrete lumps or cysts, that would sometimes put you in a category and people would say you have fibrocystic disease. Now, the important thing to know about both of these descriptions, neither one of them is um, going to give you an increased risk of having breast cancer. So how is it important in terms of breast cancer um, evaluation? The most important thing, again, is to know that's where you feel lumpy and bumpy. You always feel lumpy bumpy there, and that's normal for you. If you have a change, again, that's when you're going to want to uh, bring those concerns up to your doctor or your uh, clinical uh, practitioner. The other way that fibrocystic disease can um, kind of be in the way of looking for breast cancer is on imaging. If you are one of those patients who has multiple breast cysts, occasionally can hide the evaluation um, and make it a little more difficult for us to look for breast cancer changes. So again, one of those things that doesn't make you at more risk, but again, something to know. Uh, in terms of your fibrocystic disease, again, or your fibrocystic changes, the thing to know is um, this is how I normally feel and again to look for changes. And in terms of what can you do about it, in terms of breast cysts, there's not a lot that can be done other than in some women you'll note that the tenderness and the cysts are actually better if you lay off the caffeine. So I tell my women who have uncomfortable cysts to try staying off caffeine for a couple of weeks. If it makes a difference, then you're one of those women there where caffeine is affecting how your breasts feel. Um, if it doesn't make a difference, then I say have as much caffeine as, you, as the rest of your body can tolerate. But again, fibrocystic can mean a couple of different things. It's not a serious condition, um, but again, one of those you want to know about. Um, and um, in your monthly exams, keep an eye on that and come in for your yearly breast exam by your doctor.